hello guys our next video is about the account debits and credits and the double entry system let us start first with the account what is an account so the account is the basic summary device of accounting a separate account is maintained for each element that appears in the balance sheet and in the income statement example in the balance sheet makikita natin dito ay assets liabilities and equity so bawat asset na meron ka bawat isa nun is merong separate account ganun din sa liabilities equity income and expenses an account is also a detailed record of the increases, decreases, and the balance of each element that appears in an entity's financial statements. So, the simplest form of the account is known as the T account. Bakit tinawag siyang T account? Because it looks like letter T. It looks like this. Parang letter T. So, an account has three parts. The account title, the left side or the debit side, O pag nakaharap, saan ba na left? O pag nakaharap ka, doon sa letter T. Kung saan yung left mo, yun yung left side. And we have the right side, or tinatawag na credit side. So ulitin natin, the account has three parts. The account title, the left side, or the debit side, and the right side, or the credit side. Now we go to debits and credits. Let's start first with the misconceptions. Yung mga maling akala tungkol sa debits and credits. First one, this is false ha. Debit daw is good, credit is bad. Now, what is true? Debits and credits are neither good nor bad. Now, walang good, walang bad. Parang pareho siya sa coins. Diba ang coins natin meron siyang head at saka tail. So walang good or bad. Another misconception is, when you debit daw, you add. When you credit, you subtract. Oh, it is not true. Ano ang totoo? Debits and credits are not the same as adding or subtracting. So, they are not the same as adding or subtracting. So, always remember, debits and credits are neither good nor bad. And debits and credits are not the same as adding or subtracting. So, what are debits and credits? Debits and credits are words used to reflect the duality or double-sided nature of all financial transactions. For money to go to one account, it has to come out from another. So accountants consider every transaction to involve an economic benefit from a source, ito yung mga credits, to a destination or debits. Example nito is, ng source is investment ni owner. Okay, ito yung ating equity. Ito yung nasa credits. O, saan ba natin ginagamit? Source ito. ba? Ang mga credits. So, yung investment ni owner, saan ba natin ito ginagamit? O, yung investment ni owner, ito yung source, saan siya papunta? Papunta siya sa destination. Ang destination ay ang mga nasa debits. Ano ba ang nasa debits? Example na nasa debits ay assets. ba yung investment ni owners, ang ginagawa natin is binibili natin ng assets. Ano pa? Ginagasus natin pang bayad ng mga expenses. So, an accountant daw ano, considers every transaction to involve what? An economic benefit from a source to a destination. So, let us discuss naman debits and credits in the double entry system. Related ba sila? Of course. So, accounting is based on a double entry system which means that the dual effects of a business transaction is recorded. A debit side entry must have a corresponding credit side entry. So, for every transaction, there must be one or more accounts debited and one or more accounts credited. Each transaction affects at least two accounts. So, hindi pwedeng bumaba sa dalawang accounts ang affected ng bawat transaction kasi laging merong tinatawag tayong dual effect. So, the total debits for a transaction must always equal the total credits. So, laging tatandaan, pa nag-prepare tayo ng journal entries, the total debits for a transaction must always equal the total credits. Kapag hindi sila equal, something is wrong. 
So, an account is debited when an amount is entered on the left side of the account. So, kung nagsabing, you debited, like this, ibig sabihin nito, nag-enter ka ng amount saan? Sa left side ng account. So, yung left side, eto yung debit. So, debit, ang shortcut or uh, abbreviation nito is DR. It is from the Latin word debere. An account is credited when an amount is entered on the right side. That's the right side of our account. Kapag nag-enter tayo sa right side, then you credited an account. Credit, ang abbreviation niya or short is written is ng shortcut, is CR. From the Latin word, credere. So, review tayo. An account is debited when an amount is entered. Saan? Here, on the left side. Okay? And credited when an amount is entered on the right side. The account type determines how increases or decreases in it are recorded. So, increases in assets are recorded as debits. Decreases in assets are recorded as credits. Increases in liabilities and owner's equity are recorded by credits and decreases are entered as debits. Increases in income or revenue are recorded as credits and decreases as debits. Increases in expenses are recorded as debits and decreases as credits. So, yan yung rules. Paano malalaman kung magde-debit ka ba or magde-credit? Depende sa effect ng transaction sa account type. So, like, for example, nag-invest si owner ng pera sa business, o saan ba ito may effect? May effect ito sa asset. So, ano nangyari sa asset? Nag-increase ang asset. So, dahil nag-increase ang asset, magde-debit tayo. Ano pa ang effect? Kasi dual daw ang effect. So, kapag nag-invest si owner sa business, nagkaroon tayo ng pera. Bakit tayo nagkaroon ng pera? Kasi nga, nag-invest si owner. So, saan may effect? Maliban sa assets, may effect sa owner's equity. So, ano ang effect niya sa owner's equity? Increase or dagdag. So, pag nag-increase si owner's equity, ano daw? Tayo ay mag-credit. So, our entry will be debit cash, credit capital. So, I-memorize lang dapat itong mga rules na to. Yun nga lang, pag nag-memorize tayo ng rules, minsan nakakalimutan natin. So, paano ba siya madaling matandaan? Let us try this one. Balik tayo sa ating accounting equation. Our accounting equation is assets or A is equal to liabilities or L plus owner's equity or OE. Ulitin natin. Assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Yung owner's equity kasi masyado itong complicated because there are so many transactions that affect owner's equity. So, paano ba kinocompute si owner's equity? Owner's equity is equal to equity. Ano yung equity? Ito yung investment ni uh, owners like capital. Ano ang effect ni equity sa owner's equity? Of course, dagdag or increase. Ano pa ang nakaka-apekto sa owner's equity? We have revenues. Okay. Ano ang effect ni revenues? Of course, ang effect ni revenues is dinadagdagan niya. Kaya plus revenues tayo. Dinadagdagan niya si owner's equity. Ano pa ang may effect kay owner's equity? We have drawing. O ano ba ang effect ni drawing? binabawasan niya si owner's equity. Ano pa? Expenses. Ano ang effect na expenses sa owner's equity? Binabawasan niya. So, ibig sabihin, owner's equity is computed as equity or investments ni owner plus revenues minus drawing minus expenses. Itry natin i-substitute itong formula na to, eto, dito. I-try natin siyang i-substitute dito. Okay? So, ano mangyayari? Then, assets 
is equal to liabilities plus equity plus revenues minus growing minus expenses. So, kung titingnan natin, okay, meron tayong dalawang naka-negative. Ito yung drawing and expenses, yung naka-red. So, para gawin silang positive, mas maganda, di ba, kapag naka-positive lahat. So, para gawin natin silang positive, ano nga ginagawa in mathematics or in algebra? We transfer yung naka-negative to the other side of the equation. So, yung drawing, we transfer it to the left side of the equation. Same with expenses, we transfer it to the left side of the equation para sila maging positive. And, eto na. It will look like this. So, we have now drawing, positive na siya, plus expenses, plus assets, is equal to, ang naiwan sa right side of our equation ay liabilities, plus equity, plus revenues. So, Drawing plus expenses plus assets is equal to liabilities plus equity plus revenues. Let us highlight the first letter of the different words. So, we have D, E, A, L, E, R. So, tanggalin natin yung ibang letters. Gamitin natin ang first letter ng bawat word. So, we have D plus E plus A is equal to L plus E plus R. So, drawings plus expenses plus asset is equal to the total of liabilities, equity, and revenue. So, D plus E plus A is equal to L plus E plus R. So, kung babasahin natin siya, di ba? We have D, LER. D, left side of the equation. LER, right side of the equation. So, we have that equation. I-match natin ang ating accounting equation sa ating account title. So, we match our accounting equation. D plus E plus A is equal to L plus E plus R to our account. In our accounting equation, we have the left side. D plus E plus A. In our account, we have the left side also, which is the debit side. I-transfer natin siya or i-match natin siya. So, we have sa debit side, drawings, expenses, and assets. Yung nasa right side naman ng ating equation, we have L, E, and R. I-match natin siya sa right side ng ating account. So, we have liability, equity, and revenue. So, sa left side, we have DEA. Sa right side, we have LER. In short, DLER. O, di ba? Madaling tandaan. DLER. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Ang ibig sabihin nito is that etong mga nasa debit na side, drawings, expenses, and assets, eto yung may mga normal balances na debit. Drawings, expenses, and assets, or D, sila ang may normal balance na debit. Para madaling tandaan, di ba? D, debit. Ah, nakakatawa siya, pero mas madaling tandaan. D stands for drawings, expenses, and assets. Normal balances nila ay debit. D, debit. Ah, di ba? And then, Yung nasa right side naman natin. Ito ang ating nasa right side. We have LER. Liability, equity, and revenue. Ang normal balances nila ay credit. Ang normal balances nila ay credit. So, kailan tayo magde-debit? Kailan tayo magki-credit? So, anong dapat tandaan? I-memorize lang ano ang kanilang normal balances. Ano ba ang normal balances nila? Kung ano yung normal balance nila, kapag ang effect ng transaction ay dadagdagan sila, anong gagawin mo? Ha, what are you going to do? Ulitin ko. Ano ba ang effect ng transaction? Example sa drawings. 
kung ang effect ng transaction sa drawings or expenses at assets ay nadagdagan or nag-increase, then anong gagawin natin? Magdi-debit. Magdi-debit. Bakit? Kasi yun ang kanyang normal balance. Now, kung ang effect ng transaction sa drawings, expenses at assets ay nabawasan, then magki-credit tayo. Ulitin ko. Kapag ang effect ng transaction sa drawings, expenses at assets ay nadagdagan, magdi-debit tayo. Kapag ang effect ng transactions sa drawings, expenses at assets ay nabawasan, magki-credit tayo. Okay, next. Kapag ang effect naman ng transaction sa liabilities, equity, at revenue ay nadagdagan, magki-credit tayo. Bakit tayo magki-credit? Because the normal balance of LER or liability, equity, and revenue ay credit. So, if the effect of the transaction is nabawasan or nag-decrease ang liability, equity, and revenue, then, ano ang gagawin natin? Mag-debit tayo. Review natin. Ang normal balance ng drawing, expenses, at assets ay debit. So, kapag ang effect ng transaction ay dinadagdagan si drawings, expenses, at assets, magde-debit tayo. Kapag binabawasan naman, magki-credit tayo. Next, ang normal balance ni liability, equity, at revenue ay credit. So, kapag ang effect ng transaction ay dinadagdagan si liability, equity, or revenue, magki-credit tayo. Kapag ang effect ng transaction ay binabawasan si liability, equity, and revenue, magdi-debit tayo. So, ano lang ang tatandaan? Tatandaan si D-LER. D-LER. Sino si D? Drawings, expenses, assets. Normal balance nila, debit. Okay. Ulitin ko. Drawings, expenses, assets. Normal balance, debit. Next, LER. Liability, equity, and revenue. Normal balance, credit. I hope naiintindihan, ha? So, tatandaan, D, LER. D, LER. D, normal balance, debit. LER, normal balance, credit. I hope mas naintindihan yung rules ng debit at credit. And, naintindihan ang double entry system. Ganun din ang account. So, hopefully, nakatulong ang video na ito para maitindihan ang account, ang debits and credits, and the double entry system. So, just wait for the next videos. Uh, gagawa ko ng video ng exercises para mag-analyze ng transactions, ang effects sa type ng accounts, anong account ang affected, nag-increase ba or nag-decrease, at saka mag-debit ba or mag-credit. So, thank you for watching and I hope nakatulong ito.